So what's up guys, it's Iron Year 77 and today I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mop up the rest of what I uh, didn't show uh, last time I recorded. So uh, today we're just going to take a look at the uh, Seeker Cave, which is the uh, place of the new dungeon. It's not open yet, but uh, they have all the stuff set up, um, so I assume it's just like a flick of the switch and they'll uh, have that up and running. Um, I'll also be going to Cliff Watch to uh, do some, some stuff there with the uh, soul vendors and stuff they changed there as well and then I'll go ahead and finish it off by going to the black market which is still devoid of all NPC life but um, that is where it is and uh, there's some pretty... it looks really nice but there's no, no one there yet and serves no real purpose other than looking pretty. Oh hey look at that! Okay, let's try that again. Um, I'll have to make sure to remember to keep the intro as well. So, yeah, the, the game definitely uh, disconnected me for some reason. That's not fixed. Huh. That's that's great. But uh, they all that, that did that did remind me to talk about the uh, the main menu. The the new music is pretty nice. Uh, I, I definitely like that. I could probably listen to that for a little bit before I get bored of it, but. It's about time they, they did some stuff with that. It's nice aesthetics uh, to change up. Honestly, I'm just trying to fill up the dead space during the loading screen. I probably should have started the recording after it's uh, all done loaded up and everything. But, you know, what's done is done. Uh, can I get on my mount, please? There we go. We're good? All right. So basically, they went ahead and added this path here. Um, zoom all the way out. All the way out. All the way out. There you go. So they added this path here. Um, this wasn't here previously. Uh, this used to just be a, like a little uh, quest area. Um, it, would, it would lead you over here, and there would just be a bunch of mobs you have to fight through. Um, there still are, but uh, am I even going the right way? Oh, no. Okay, this isn't the path I was talking about, but they did add one over here somewhere. I just can't find it yet. I think I walked past it. It was like over here somewhere. It's like over here. It's over here. Yeah. I think. Yes? No? No, I, I, I way overshot it. Is it? Is there a mob here? No, the boss isn't spawned in. All right. Yeah, I way overshot this. Hold on. I completely am disorientated after I logged back in. Alright, here's the path I was talking about. This is the one they added. Right here. I think I was walking backwards on it. I was walking away. Anyways, they added this in. It used to be like a quest area. Like a, yeah. So it's headed to the secret cave, which isn't really that secret because it's labeled on the map. Super secret. Not anymore. So that you can see the, the uh, summoner. I don't know if it's working yet, but I don't know if the summon thing is working. It might. I don't know. But uh, they definitely have the uh, NPC person over here selling stuff, so that's good. So at least we'll have that. This is the guy that used to give you the quest and stuff. Um, I'm going to zoom a little more in. Get off my mount. Get off my high bear. Not my high horse, my high bear. Hey look, someone else is over here. So yeah, they uh, added all of this in. Um, the actual cave. Before you could only like take a few steps and now they have all this um, stuff added in. It's pretty good. So here's the actual entrance itself. At the moment you can't go in but uh, yeah. I mean this is where the next dungeon is going to be at I guess. That looks like a really far fall. Don't don't want to go down there. I'm going to go ahead and teleport over to uh, silence now, so let's do that. So I hope that I don't lag out like 50 bajillion times like I did. I, I'm just gonna cut all of that out and just... That never happened. <sighs> okay, I just gotta regain my composure here and just not absolutely flip out because I just wanted to record and just, you know, get it done and, um... It's, it was not making it easy for me at all. I kept disconnecting every five seconds, and it was absolutely miserable. But anyways, I just restarted my device, and I went ahead and uh, disconnect and reconnect with my Wi-Fi. 
uh, service, and, and it, I think it might have fixed it. I don't know. Well, let's just cross our fingers and just hope that it's fixed it. But, anyways, um, I'm here at the campsite, and uh, it's the soul vendors. Um, so they went ahead and moved all of the uh, soul vendors here now. Um, this includes the uh, the ones that sold the the tier one, tier two, and uh, mechanical stuff um, at Greenmont. They relocated them Hi. here. Um, they should be around here somewhere. I think this guy sells it. I think you sell the armor, right? Hi. Yeah, you sell the armor. So um, they have oh. Okay, um, I don't know why I just randomly popped up with that, but, uh, yeah, how about you go away, Nick? Nobody cares about you right now. But yeah, um, they just went ahead and put it all in an accessible area, a more easily accessible area. Um, they went ahead and added the, uh, the other dungeons, the level 70 dungeons to the, uh, dailies. Uh, list as well, so those are up there. Um, if you talk to this person over here, um, they give you a quest right over. I already picked it up. It should be right here, and uh, it gives. And you can pick these uh, items. So I'll go ahead and turn that in. I already know what it gives you, um, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and go there right now. Um, it's pretty cool. It gives you. The gloves and boots for uh, your what was it the mechanical um, gear set. Um, so it's like the tier 2.5, I guess is, uh, is what it's called. There, as you know, people usually call it. Uh, it gives you the boots and gloves for that. So those are pretty nice. Um, it's pretty good for people just starting out uh, once they hit level 70. They, I think they've done a pretty good job of gearing up the newer people. Um, so they're actually able to uh, to run some dungeons and stuff. But I th I'm gonna pick up the uh, the mage set just because um, I need the uh, the boots for the what's it called the uh, MZL uh, epic shirt. So I'm gonna instead of getting the uh, the monk one, which would have given me the healer gloves, boots, and Millie gloves and boots, which I already had anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mage ones just to uh, just so I can uh, get the shirt because that'd be probably a pretty good upgrade to get because it's uh, it's a straight upgrade. There's there's I you know my current shirt has no stats at all, so. Once I get a that shirt, it'd be pretty good because that would at least give me an extra like um, healing skill or something. I think I'm gonna go for the MZL shirt. So uh, walking my way up here. Okay, nice, nice frame drops. Uh, those are always really nice to go ahead and experience. Really love frames. That's, Alright, so talk to this guy, and he gives you an option. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to go get the mage one. Um, and you can go ahead and open it up, see what you get. What I get, what I get, what I get. Come on. Let's go. There you go. That, there you go. There's the gloves, and there's the boots. Um, it's pretty handy. Um, no, how about you leave me alone? pretty handy when you're uh, first starting out uh, it's probably kind of helpful once you you know it's basically free uh, gear so you know, ahead and uh, head on over to the still vacant uh, black market in uh, the great desert so there's no one there yet uh, at least I don't think they've added any NPCs yet but Last I checked, 20 minutes ago, it was empty. It's probably still empty. One could hope, though. I can't teleport there. I'm going to teleport down the same. Please, let me teleport. But, uh... I think, I think it'll all be pretty cool once they finish um, putting everything... Uh, releasing all the updates and stuff for this. Um, 
getting all the content actually out. I think it'd be pretty nice. Uh, there's still a pretty prominent kind of pay-to-win element to it, but I think it's... Eh, I don't know. The, the whole thing with the dungeon exhaust being changed, uh, it's kind of a little discouraging because it's kind of like I don't... Well, I don't want to spend all those tabs on just dungeon runs. I'd, you know, I'd rather... I don't know. If right now, currently, it's just I play just because it's kind of fun. You know, I can pick up and play the game. I think I'm lagging out again. It was really nice. Um, it, you know, this is one of the MMOs that I started playing basically since it was released. I was, you know, it holds a special place in my heart. But um, I don't know. With the recent updates and stuff, it's really off-putting. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm lagging out again. But yeah, there we go. Boom. And this is one of the reasons why I don't really want to play this as much anymore. Because you have this crap and it's synchronizing with server. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to call it for now. Um, we can explore this uh, place next time when I get back. When Once they uh, you know, put in all the NPCs and everything, I'll go ahead and do a, another video then. But... For now, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna, gonna stop it now. Anyways, see you guys next time.